All right, let's start with the SPY, SP500. And you can see, again, should be no surprise. I've been naming the last couple of days of videos. It's tighten up stops. Um, don't go on new positions. See if you can just tighten stop for existing positions. And because, again, it's it's been moving, you know, it's, it's what, 15 days, trading days. Okay, and you only see out of the 15, one, two, three, four, five. So it's due for some type of pullback again is not to guess the top of uh the bottom but again you could see that it just the volume has decreased and it was it's not time to to add to any positions or to to um initiate a lot of stuff again i was just saying tighten stuff up so again and this another i, I hate saying it but again this is another really reason why i don't like trading breakouts you see people are trading the breakout got squeezed okay um uh, you have the composite um, that one again because of the way the apple did it gave the bearish engulfing again i'm not going to go short just on one candle because if that was the case you would have gotten short uh based on this last friday uh move or two, i think it was two weeks friday that had that ukraine news that came out a bit about midday and it really got <clears throat> really annoying and it shot, but then it shot up. So again, one candle is not going to say, you know, but on the weekly, you kind of got to say, okay, we see that we have declining volume. A lot of the strong names have made some really good moves. I'm expecting it to go down a little bit. Uh, IWM, again, we really need to see what's going on with this one because this one looks worse than all the others regarding how the weekly chart is setting up with this lower high being in place. So I want to see how this candle closes. Again, you have that same theme of that, uh, <clears throat> Uh, decreasing volume uh, to the upside. So volume, again, some people don't like using it. I think it's very, very important, especially with retracements to see how those things are going. Uh, you got the diamond. Uh, diamond, again, the lower volume weekly, daily. Um, all these days, I mean, going back, I don't think I did the daily. The IWM, you know, it's this is not really that good of a, it's not giving any type of separation. So, um, what we have, and we talked about separation before on the other side, when it was kind of doing this, and we said, okay, this is it's not really separating. Well, it's not really giving that clean of a separation as well. So we just have to see how that <clears throat> one plays out. Apple, big news for today, uh, really dropped down hard. So again, I have people that are in it, and I told them to tighten their stops. So again, you know, they got in around 95, so they, they're cleaning they should, if the worst case scenario, if they use the previous pivot, they should be out now. You should be out about 170. You should be gone. And you just wait for the next trade because this is a big, 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 big move to downside with some big volume. Um, it is touching this previous level. So, I, I, again, I'm not, I don't like to be the first one out the foxhole. So, you see it's broken below this this uh, level, or this last pivot. So, we just have to see how it, it I mean, some people might say, okay, I'm going to break on a low and, I wouldn't use all of it. So I would again use something within the, the you know, um, 30 minute or intraday to kind of say, if you're going to go shorter, you're going to go short the entire position. So if you're going to go short the entire position, you're talking about $5 stop. Are you willing to put a $5 stop on this? If you are, then to have at it. Weekly still doesn't look that crazy. I mean, again, it, it is not giving that separation, uh, but it, it was, I mean, if you got this little, I don't know, I don't even want to call this a pullback. It's only one bar. Um, Some guys are get excited about that. I'm not getting excited about that. But um, if it would layer. So, again, I want to see what happens tomorrow. And, I don't. again, I don't have to be the first because, again, I'm looking for it to break down, pop back up. Then I'll look to short it. But the high volume is definitely something to be aware of. Netflix. Um, oh, and the Apple um, target was 104.50. So it was, what, 70 cents short. So kill me. But again, uh, if you got in where I got in, you should be very, very uh, happy with the results that are coming in. You got Netflix. Um, again, I'm not looking to trade a breakout. So guys, look, again, these, I'm telling you, they, they set this shit up. So I don't care what cup and handle you're looking at or whatever. If anything, you got in here, you got stopped out. But again, you can see ran up and pretty much just faded for the entire day. Uh, you got Tesla. <clears throat> Tesla gapped up and then um, pretty much faded the entire day. But uh, again, it, it had a hell of a move. I mean, it depends on where you get it. If you got it here on the breakout, again, I'm going to keep talking about this because it's true. A lot of people get beat up. At least you could say, you know what? You know, I, I'm looking at it and I don't like the way 
I know that I have to be positioned to feel pain immediately when it comes to breakout trades. And that's probably what, why I didn't swing trade that much is because psychologically, I was like, shit, it's better to take a five minute, you know, stop loss than always taking these daily because I was trading breakouts about a year ago and it's all morphed. And that's probably why I'm one of the people that would probably voice my dis please uh, nature with them more than others. Uh, Under Armour, that again, another breakout chip, but this one's kind of just sideways. You don't know where this one is going. Uh, Microsoft, um, it, <clears throat> let me look at the intraday because these candles are a little crazy. Again, it's just trading sideways for a little bit. This little uh, box per se, but again, I like more of a pullback like this to get up and I'll be selling near these highs or majority of it and I would, say listen this is not a good setup for me right now i'll just wait you know just patience you could just wait uh solar city same thing just been sideways and again there's always going to be that jackass or dick that's going to tell you you know it let's say a day like this is going to say short from the top or some crap like that and everybody you know you just got to be very leery to people that tell you that they got all of every single striking move um exxon mobile should have a little bit of recovery but again this is just a tight consolidation we got to see what which way we're going to uh which way we're going to move so again i would just again i just begin to wait you got a uh, bank of america <clears throat> let's see how this one plays out again if you i don't know if you would got this or not because kind of if you look at the, the weekly it's just been sideways a little bit so uh we'll see how that one works out um <clears throat> And I think you just need to be kind of cautious because, again, I'm looking at these these indexes. Excuse me. Um, there we go. And you look at the indexes and you're just saying, listen, I, I know that it's going to need to be a pullout. Now, if you trade the breakouts, you just, I mean, a lot of guys are just waiting for it to break out above the high of, of this candle. And if that's your trade, that's cool. But where is it within the trend? And that's the bigger thing. I say, where are we within the trend? How far do you think else do you think it's going to go? Is there a higher, probably less risk trade that you could see setting up? And then you just got to backward engineer and back test your ass off and just figure out how to do it. So again, um, the titles of my videos have were titled that because again, a small little day like today, you sh you know, one day doesn't make or break a trend, but again, we could see from the weekly time frame for a lot of these indexes that we at least saw something, especially last week and the week before, they were painful at best. You could say last week, holiday, scratch that one, but the week before and the week before, the, the volume has been light. So you've had these gap ups, move up to 11 o'clock, and then shut that bitch down. It's been sideways. So that could be a telltale sign of some stuff uh, happening, but we just have to see. So take care. Trade them well.